Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today marks the beginning of a series we're gonna do on how to write a workout. First up today, we're gonna start outlining the five basic principles of training. But first, let's just talk about writing your own workout. So writing your own workout is not necessarily that challenging. The biggest difficulty that you run into is you tend to give yourself stuff that you like to do instead of stuff that you need to do. Um, so keep that in mind while you're, you're developing this up. But the hardest part about coaching is understanding everybody's individual differences. But if you want to write a workout for yourself, it's actually not that hard. There's only one individual that you got to really think about. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the five basic principles of training. And first, in today's video, I want to discuss maybe the most important one, though they're all really, really important, uh, progression. OK, so I need to get better or I need to do more as I go along. This principle is often tied into the next one that we're going to talk about, which is overload. Um, but they are distinctly different. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss overload a little bit more tomorrow, but with progression, the idea is that as I'm training, I am getting better, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting more fit, I'm getting more endurance, whatever it may be. And so I need to continuously try to do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more every single time. Now, one of my favorite cliches here is Rome wasn't built in a day. So you need to take a long term approach to training. If you're going to use progression as your mindset, you can't just like uh, maybe the most susceptible person is somebody who used to be really fit, maybe got hurt, maybe just life hit them and they stopped training and they're totally deconditioned. Uh, my my friend sent us a text the other day that said, I've never met a man over 40 who didn't use to bench 400 pounds. <laughs> and 400 pounds is a ridiculous amount of weight to bench. Not that many people have ever done that. But a lot of people think about their skills in the past and, and the things that they used to do, and they think that they're still able to do those things. And this is going to get into another principle we're going to talk about later on, reversibility. But the... The way to look at progression is progress from where you are now, not from where you used to be or where you have been before. Basic principle is 5%. Just try to increase 5% every time. Um, and, and, you know, this doesn't pertain to every lift. Like you don't need to necessarily increase 5% on your plank time every time. I think planks just for a minute or two after your workout kind of do a lot of what you're looking for them to do. You're looking for them to mitigate the negative effects of exercise. So if I want to progress, it's it's mostly in those first couple exercises that I do. Those are the, the big bang ones that are going to do most of the uh, adaptation that you're looking for. So enough on that. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Progression is do a little bit more, maybe about 5% every workout. 